everybody, this is Joel. Danny. And Paul. From moving to Mexi.co. Bienvenidos a nuestro canal and bienvenidos to another episode of... Behind the Mexican Doors! We have a very exciting episode today and we've been ex like super emocionados, sí. right? To, uh, to reveal this renovation. Uh, this was the house that Phil bought. Yeah. And we did a, uh, another episode on it. We've done a few episodes on this house because it was a home that I bought, which was uh, an older house here on the Upper East Side. Had really good bones, really good structure, but it just needed some, some love and some help. So we thought we would ask the question, like, should foreigners be renovating homes in Mexico? And what are, what are the, the benefits, the pitfalls, and all the things that you can kind of encounter in a renovation? Um, because there are. It's not always just uh, so easy as people people think. Yeah. You know, people always ask me, what's the cost to renovate a house in Mexico? Like, what's the square footage to build a house in Mexico? It's There's kind of all over the place. Yeah, it, yeah, depends, really like, it depends huh? what you build, right? Yeah. I so think I'm, that question even goes to Mexicans. Like, should we yeah. renovate? <laughs> should they be right? renovating? Like, not that easy. When you saw this property, what made you want to, what was your vision for it? And what made you want to invest in it? Well, you know, when I drove by it, I loved the curb appeal. So I love this street because it's all paved. I like that it's close to the uh, estadios, like where all the sports field is. Um, it's close to Cuatro Estaciones. And literally it's like maybe 500 meters to the beach. So yeah. I, had, I had a lot of things going for it um, that I think long term it was kind of a bit of a no brainer of an investment. And um, then when I went through the home, it was, uh, it just had good structure and good bones. Yeah. yeah. So my mind started turning. I came through a few different iterations of what I was going to end up uh, building there. But in the end, I decided on what we're going to go see today. And well, should we go take the tour? Let's go check it out. Let's go. So going through the garage here. Yeah, going through the garage to the main door. This is the Mexican this door. This is the Mexican door. This is the Mexican door in this case. So as soon as I come in, to me it's like bright and open. And I love the height of the walls. Yeah. And I don't it, it doesn't the original height? Yeah, so, right? that's the original height the original and wall, the original uh, ceiling though. Ceiling. Like that yeah. brick yeah. ceiling. Yeah. Which that also is pretty cute to keep. Yeah. Cute. It is cute. <laughs> because it's very Mexican. So I did tell though there is a bedroom already here. Yeah, yeah. so the first bedroom is on this side. Yeah. And I, I like the space of the bedroom. It feels like yeah. you don't need more than that. And then you have me mentioned we're waiting for end tables. Like There's a few, there. yeah, we're 99.9% .9 complete. So we get um, some floating shelves mm -hmm. being built over those uh, plugs. Yeah. So that basically that becomes the bedside table. And then you have a bathroom. Little here. bathroom. So, was this bad? Is this new though? Or you? We built this. This was oh, new. Okay. Yeah. And we had to That's use every square inch. So, you know, it's, it is a bit yeah. tight. But it's fine. Uh, it then. works. I think. Bye, Joe. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> he did uh, this, you know, like the cement. Yeah. And then I can see. That's why I asked if it's new because it's also cement. Yeah. Yeah. The polished uh, cement. Polished cement. Yeah. yeah. Let's see the, the door coming through here. It just goes right past. Yeah, yeah. counter is just perfect. Yeah. <laughs> so you, you, but sometimes on a reno, and this is like one of the things that's a give and a take. Uh -huh. You see something on a plan, and then it just kind of you're like, oh man, like we should have put a pocket door in here. Okay. But then in the end, really, you open the door, you close the door, you go to the bathroom. It works. It works. Yeah. This one we were gonna build a closet here, but instead we're like, yeah, you know, it's, it's not like it's a small room, but. We thought it would be maybe a little bit more interesting. And most people are staying here for a week. Right. At most, right? right? So they don't need a lot of space. So we have one of these built where they can have their clothes hang up. That's cool. They put their luggage on the little rack here. And uh, away you, you go. anything else? Yeah. yeah. No. The desk. I was supposed to get a laptop here to, for your photos. Oh, to demonstrate? So just to demonstrate that you could stay and work here as well. Yeah. Right. And then you added the Wi Fi, right? Yeah, high speed internet. And then I feel like I want to sit on the couch. Yeah, you should sit on the couch. Try it out. Oh yeah. <laughs> and Gillian also mentioned, and we can tell, like it's basically like a white canvas. Is that how you say it? Because like it needs character from the owner. Right. Because it's like all decorated and ready to go yes. for renters. But then the owner at some point will come probably yeah, and then and do, do his thing, right? They're going to do their own art, like yeah. personalize it to them. So we got at the point where it's rentable, mm -hmm. but they can come in here, which they're going to come in November, and they can personalize it. And then we get to the kitchen, and Paul Ooh. already mentioned he likes this kitchen. 
I think because of the flow of it, right? Like you're yeah. cooking and then you have this space, the chef. And then I was asking Joe a while ago, like he, when he does renos or in the new condos, he is gonna include like some appliances. And we're looking like, you know, the fridge, the combo, the stove and the oven. And the hood fan, yeah. Yeah, and then um, sometimes a microwave. Yeah, we always put a, a small microwave in, yeah. And it's like pretty much ready to use. Yeah. You know? It's got everything so, you need. Yeah, this is pretty clean <clears throat> kitchen. Yeah. And I like that they add this. Yeah, that splash. backsplash there. Yeah. Yeah, it all looks very clean. Mm -hmm. So, like, what we have set up in here is truly all anyone really needs. That's why we keep the floating, the floating uh, shelves. shelves. Uh -huh. Just so everything is just very visible when you walk in mm -hmm. as to what you have for your setup. That's right. Because right? like then, if you're renting, yeah. you're gonna think, oh, where's where are the bowls again? Yeah. You open it like ten cupboards and then find you're like, oh, it's right here. That actually drives <laughs> me crazy when I'm in an Airbnb. Yeah. So this is one of the reasons why we do it, yeah. you know, just like this. Well, if you're having some friends over, maybe yeah. you're having, you know, we you can, can kind of like yeah. like sit here, so you can. That becomes the dinner table. Yeah. yeah. Easily. So the it's bigger than the other one. Yeah. And did you add it this year or yeah, it's already so we here? That here. Ah, okay. So yeah. that's what we were gonna do in the other bedroom, yeah, but we, we just felt it wasn't enough space. Mm -hmm. So instead, we did that there, and then for the master bedroom, we gave the more storage, right? right. Yeah. So that could accom that could accommodate more luggage, more clothes. Yeah. And usually, people if they're vacationing here together, you know, they, they can they can use everything. Yeah, yes. Yeah. This one is longer. This is also oh, new. Yeah. All new too? Yeah, yeah, all new. The kitchen was in the back here and it was like really dark. There was no access to the backyard from the kitchen. There was like a door. Mm -hmm. And then there was this big stairway in the middle there that went to the upstairs. Oh yeah. So we got rid of that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Got rid of the stairs because it was kind of in a in a bad spot. Right. And then we blew this wall open here and then we moved the house all the way to here. Yeah. So this used to be outside. And this was like a storage or something was in there. So we just demolished all that. Yeah. And it's basically it took the whole house and yeah. opened it up this far, which then allowed us to build the studio in the front, which we'll go oh, we'll go okay. see next. Yeah. But before that, let's. Uh, so all these is new installations, right? Water, that, gas, and all, all that. that. Is that complicated to do? Huh? Is that complicated? I got like a lot of questions about that before. Like, oh, you know, it's not there, and then they're thinking like it's gonna be a, a big trouble to yeah. add it. Not, not when you're at the point where you're already getting a house and doing a full renovation. That's just obviously a new build because you have nothing, no walls, nothing to deal with. Yeah. It's easier. Yeah. But honestly, it's not a big deal running gas lines. So you got this umbrella space. Now, this used to be in my house, so I, I moved it to Phil's. Oh, okay. And then that okay. night, you got the twinkly lights. Ooh. It's kind of cool. Yeah. And then I see the pool is like, yeah. from over there, it feels like small, but once you're here, it's like a pretty big space. Yeah. Is the whole, is it's all new or, or the whole was already there? It's never here, no. Oh, okay. And then it's deep. There was like a, a little apartment here, if you guys remember. Yeah. Like uh, with some rickety stairs and an old apartment up there. So we just took all that down and then used that space for the pool. Yeah. Yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. Really came out nice. Yeah. Oh, look yeah. at Joe. He's getting comfortable over here comfy to have a pool day. yeah are you ready um, to move in well we were going to but we're now staying at Casa Victoria and Phil wants the place for all of November anyways okay so we didn't move in yeah um, but you know what I like about this area if I was to live here I would probably buy a nice outdoor furniture set here uh -huh. and this would be our, our living our, our outdoor living room right and then you could kind of move these chairs you know, where you need them throughout the day. Right. But I make you do like a little outdoor sofa set. Sure. All right, so uh, that was the main floor two bedroom. What'd you think? Yeah, it's pretty pretty spacious. It feels like a house. Yeah. Like that's already a house. So Just I'm like not that. sure like what, am I, what else is there. <laughs> There's so much more. Yeah. And uh, by the way, we were able to kind of like extend the house to the back. It allows us, allowed us to use the space in the front. Mm -hmm. And this is actually one of my favorite units in the, in the entire place. Okay. Um, from the small space. Yeah, yeah let's go see. Check it out. So you have a little outdoor space. Yeah, here. right away you have a little cute. cute little patio here. Yeah, and it's private, right? So yeah. if you're someone's staying in that one, you're staying in this one. You have that separation. Uh huh. We had the Celestia 
that allows the light in and the air. Yeah. But it still gives you a degree of privacy. Okay? And when Daniela just sat down, I think it was a little bit wet. <laughs> a wet butt now. So my next year, Covered. Bougainvillea will be completely covering this entire fence. For sure. So that adds another degree of privacy and it adds a degree of security. That's right. Because you can't climb over Bougainvillea. No, it hurts. Yeah. So and this is the studio. This is the studio. We come in and you already have like this kitchen. Yeah. yeah. Which is actually very special. That looks cool. Here, I think. Fridge, which the other one is bigger, uh -huh. but it's also like one, you know, one space, like one bedroom. Mm -hmm. That one is two, and it's pretty big, actually. Right. It's not like a yeah. tiny mini fridge. Yeah. So like the studios and Paul's uh, project, which um, we still have uh, uh, a lot of units for sale, actually. Yeah. So we had some people uh, run into some financial difficulties, and they weren't able to complete. Um, so we have. Uh, one, no, two units left for sale and Paul's main project. Yeah. Um, we redesigned it, it's pretty cool. And uh, then we have two townhomes. Okay. And townhomes from three ninety nine. I mean, where do you get a three bedroom, three bath in Blue Series, Mexico with an attached garage for with a view of the ocean? Right. Three hundred ninety nine grand. So if you want a house for three hundred ninety nine grand, it would cost you two million in uh, in San Francisco, maybe even more. Right. Uh, call Danielle. Yes. Daniela, I'm moving to Mexico and, and reserve that uh, townhome today. The studios in Paul's are going to look very much like this. Yeah. Oh, okay. Right? So this yeah. will give you an idea. Like, you know, either a bar fridge or if we have enough room, we always put a, a, a bigger yeah. fridge. If not, we put in a half size fridge. Mm -hmm. But there's always going to be like a little cooktop, a sink, that's some big. counter space. And that's a big sink. Yeah. Because honestly, what else you need if you're in a studio, right? No, this is it. Yeah. If I'm working, mm -hmm. I've got my laptop up. I was supposed to have one to show you guys. I can do my work here. So we're gonna go upstairs, and that's gonna be part two of the video, so please, hey, hey don't turn this off yet, because I have something important to say. Because sometime during that video, between the beginning and the end, or somewhere in between, I'm gonna ask a skill testing question. And the first person to get it right is gonna win a week stay in one of the studios here at Phil's Ooh, house. Very nice. And then we'll do a random draw like we always do. Or from just everyone who comments. So comment like crazy on these videos. Just and comment on both. Okay? Because everyone who comments on both videos is going to go into the draw. Cool. So you want to comment on this one and then you want to watch the next one yeah. and comment there as well. Okay. Good luck. <laughs>